Here's the problem about a flagpole. It's standing on some sloped ground. We know how the flagpole's shadow is cast directly downhill on this sloped ground. We know something about the slope. We know something about the elevation of the sun. And we're going to try and find how tall the flagpole is. Now here's a picture of some of the details. The flagpole is perpendicular to the horizontal. The ground, however, has a slope of 12 degrees and the shadow that's cast onto that sloped ground is 16 meters. We're also told that the elevation of the sun is 20 degrees. So if the sun is up here at an elevation of 20 degrees and it's casting that shadow, then we've kind of got this this ray of sunshine coming down here that's producing the shadow. Since we know that the ground is sloped at 12 degrees, then it means that this angle right here is also 12 degrees. You see, that horizontal will be parallel to this horizontal, and so the ground is a transversal, and this is alternate interior uh, angles will have to be equal, so this is going to be 20, uh, 12 degrees. That means that this angle is going to have to be 8 degrees because there's 20 degrees here and there's 12 degrees here. So the 12 plus the 8 would be the 20. So this angle is 20 degrees. Furthermore, this angle will have to be 102 degrees because the flag was perpendicular to the horizontal and the ground was at 12 degrees decline to the horizontal, so that's the 12 plus the 90 is 102 degrees. Okay, so we found out that this angle was 8 degrees because this was 20 and this was 12, so that had to be 8. We found out that this was 102 because it had to be 90 plus the 12, so this one will have to be 70 because we've got a triangle here and the sum of those angles has to be 180 degrees. Okay, I'll reproduce that triangle over here. 8 degrees, 102 degrees, 70 degrees, and 16 meters. This is a classic problem for solving by law of, law of signs. So applying the law of signs, I called the height of the flagpole F. Then F divided by the sine of 8 degrees is equal to 16 divided by the sine of 70 degrees. So multiplying both sides by the sine of 8 degrees, I get F is equal to 16 times the sine of 8 degrees divided by 70 degrees. So we'd like to enter that result into the web work problem. So I put 16 times the sine of 8 divided by the sine of 70. The problem is that web work always thinks in radians. So I need to change that 8 degrees and 70 degrees um, to radians instead of degrees. Changing 8 degrees to uh, radians is easy. I'll just multiply it by pi divided by 180. Similarly, we'll scroll over and change 70 degrees to radians by multiplying by pi divided by 180. You can't see that here. It's a little bit of, uh, awkward capturing that in the video. Okay, so here we've run a check on this. It was 16 times the sine of 8 degrees divided by the sine of 70 degrees. Up here you'll see the changes that we made. We needed to have our, our uh, angle measure in radians, so we took the 8 degrees times pi divided by 180 and took the 70 times pi divided by 180. That was all entered down here. When we run the check, it also calculates, web work calculates the decimal approximation for that, and uh, we're correct.